Hey everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as give this video a thumbs up. So kind of playing off of the 12 days of Christmas thing, I wanted to count down the 12-ish favorite books of 2017 that I read. Taking the 10th spot on my list is The Remnant Chronicles. So I kind of cheated because it's a series, but whatever. I feel like it would be kind of cheating too if I like gave one book a spot because it's all serious. So I don't know. It's a gray area, I'll say. I actually remember seeing The Kiss of Deception, which is the first book, in the used bookstore in the town of Canmore when I was living, when I was working in Banff a couple summers ago. And I read the summary and was like, oh, that sounds cool. And then I saw the reviews on Goodreads because at the time, I thought people actually read books and then reviewed them on Goodreads. And I remember seeing the reviews being like pretty like meh. So I was like, well, you know, I'll you know, skip it. Maybe I'll pick it up at the library eventually, but not going to worry about it. Then I discovered Book Outlet this past year, and the paperback copy of the first book was out there. So you know what? I figure it was a couple bucks. I'll pick it up. So I picked it up, and then I immediately realized that I needed the sequel. So I very quickly picked up The Heart of Betrayal and The Beauty of Darkness. And as you can tell, I kind of love when series do this. Each book gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So I ended up loving this series so much that I ended up waiting for a hardcover copy of The Kiss of Deception to go up on Book Outlet, and I picked it up. So now my whole series matches. But the best part, like the, the cherry on top of this whole thing, was when it showed up, once again, from Book Outlet, it showed up sign. Me and my friend Melanie are absolutely obsessed with this series, and we have this running joke that I continuously get coupons in my boxes from Book Outlet with like a 5% off or something. She didn't tend to get anything, and, and she definitely placed more orders than I did. And then this showed up, and I showed her, and she called me names. <laughs> So The Kiss of Deception starts this whole trilogy off of this girl is being married off for a political alliance to someone that she doesn't know, to a kingdom that she doesn't really have any good feelings about, and her family's not really listening to her. So in the last minute, she makes a break for it and runs away from the marriage. And this entire first book, she is living kind of as a peasant in a near, not nearby-ish, but kind of close-ish town with her friend. Her friend has her own kind of problems and she's kind of just working as a peasant, as a barmaid and that kind of stuff. As this whole timeline is going on, there are two gentlemen who appear in the story and are kind of vying for her romantic affections. It originally starts off as a triangle, but it very quickly doesn't continue on that way, which I was pretty happy with. But the whole time, you don't know who the assassin is and who is the prince that she stood up at the altar. Like, literally, you have to, it, it, the whole book, you finally figure it out at the end. And that was like, ha, oh, it was so good. And the rest of the series is just so cool. She grows, like, so immensely as a person. And, like, the relationship building is, is really, it takes its time. And, like, sometimes you can feel kind of frustrated. You're like, oh, my God, just kiss each other. You like each other. But like, it takes its time and builds it. It's no insta lovey. There's a relationship and a basis to this, as well as the fact that she is an independent human being and fully capable of taking care of herself and being a strong individual politically, as well as just as, as a person on her own, which was incredibly important, I think, to the story and such a flip from how she was at the beginning. I think I give every book in this trilogy a five out of five stars. I would really, really highly, highly recommend it. So if you are looking for a series with some romance but not insta lovey with lots of world building and lovable main characters and a little bit of a love triangle that I would just overall highly recommend this series. Mary Pearson is also releasing a book called Dance of Thieves I believe it is in 2018 which I have pre-ordered set in the exact same world but with a different story and I am so excited about that because I absolutely love this world. She took so much time to build the politics and the conflicts honestly all the geopolitics in the series were so it was like laid out and you get to like visit all these different places that I was kind of heartbroken when it ended I didn't want it to end but now I get to go back to this world and I don't even know if it's in the same time period to be totally honest I don't even know if it's in a different world or different perspective or anything but I am just so excited because this world was so lovingly built and I just want to visit more of it. So that is my 10th spot filled for my 12-ish books of 2017. Have you read any of the Remnant Chronicles? Did you enjoy them? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also make sure to check the description box where I have linked all of my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back.